Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Boss Monster uh, review, unboxing, whatever you want to call this. Today we've got Boss Monster Expansion Implements of Destruction featuring 29 new cards to equip your heroes and bosses. Uh, the gloves are off and all the gloves are on. Implements of Destruction offers 24 all new item cards to turn your bosses, monster heroes, to turn your boss monster heroes from a helpless resource into a deadly threat. Heroes equip item as they come into town, gaining deadly abilities to use against your boss. Uh, slay a hero with an item, though, and you'll gain that item's boss power for your own nefarious use. Uh, Implements of Destruction transforms your boss monster game 24 item cards and five all new bosses, including new explorer items to use with the five to six player crash landing, which I do have and I believe I've already uh, reviewed crash landing. So here we go with Implements of Destruction. I also finally got Rise of the Mini Bosses. I'm very happy to that. Now all I need is the, um, there is another. I think it's a mini bosses expansion. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, so we won't bother. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut and get this out of its plastic, and we will be right back with uh, 29 new cards for Boss Monster. Very excited about that. Please stick with me, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Please and thank you. And uh, yeah, be right back. And here we are with our new deck of cards. We're going to start with our little uh, instruction card here that tells you how to do um, attach item underneath the hero with its hero ability text visible underneath the hero. Now has this ability until it is killed. If a hero is attached, the item survives your dungeon. Place the item face down in your scorekeeping area. If you kill a hero with an attached item, you may place the item face up in your scorekeeping area. However, you may only have one face up item. You choose which item to keep face up. During the build or adventure phase, whenever you could use a spell, you may expect Spend an item to use its boss ability to clear the effect and flip the item face down to show that it is expended. And uh, yeah, that is the instructions. Uh, we also have uh, mini expansion amps of the deck. Also, that's beside the hero deck. Okay, it just tells you where to put it. And uh, some more some more rules regarding. I guess that's the first side of it. You got to read all that too. But uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's get to our items. We have uh, the. Flying Saucer Explorer item. Search the room deck for any advanced room and put it into your hand. And the boss effect is if your dungeon contains only ordinary rooms, give this hero plus three hearts. Item number two, Laser Drill Explorer item. Oh, once again, just look at that gorgeous pixel art. Until end of turn, treat all your rooms as if they were just uncovered. When this hero enters your dungeon, choose a covered room. From each hero stack and bring it to the top of that stack. So this is the... I th I don't know if that's the boss monster. Or if that's... I think that's the hero. That's the hero attack. Yeah, that's the hero attack. And then this is the monster. The boss monster attack. <clears throat> Force field. Explorer item. Choose a hero in opponent's dungeon until end of turn. It ignores damage from advanced rooms. This hero takes two less damage from our advanced rooms. Uh, item, stun gun, explorer item. Each opponent must choose an advanced room and return it to his or her hand. This is only usable during the build phase. Whenever this hero survives an advanced monster room, return that room to your hand. Interesting. We'll see, we got our a doppelganger cloak, a universal item. That's for anyone. During the, the build phase, choose one hero in town to designate a, a treasure type. The hero is lured only by that treasure type until end of turn. This hero has health equal to the highest modified health value of any hero in a dungeon or in town. Uh, let's see, next we have the Pandora's Box Universal Item. Uh, you must take this item face up while this item is face up in your score. Keep 
uh, scorekeeping area, you <laughs> any new items you gain must be turned uh, face down. Discard a spell to turn this item face down. Uh, we're not going to read all of these, the whole thing, because that is a lot of reading. And I'm realizing that we're only a few cards in and we are already at a three and a quarter minutes of my video. Uh, well, actually, that's for this cut. I didn't count the first cut yet. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see. Stolen Blueprints, Universal Item. That is a wall of text. Feel free to pause and read if you like. I will hold it there for a second. And uh, look, once again, just, oh, look, that is the classic. Um, oh, God, what is that game called? Uh, I know the name of the game. It's going to come to me later. <laughs> Oh, but that is a classic Atari game that they're referencing in the background of that. Then we have the Antifreeze Universal Item. Um, is that guy in a mask just holding a candle? Is that what that is? Uh, reactivate all rooms in your dungeon. Cool. Boom! A secret map. Always good. A thief item. And then go ahead and read those. Thief item. I love that they uh, added all these items into the game because I think the very original boss monster didn't have items, and what I currently have doesn't have that many items. So let's see. Blast box. A little TNT classic TNT box with a uh, a little that guy standing really close to that dynamite. I would be careful. Destroy any uh, a room in any dungeon with a hero in it. That hero is killed. Destroy the room this hero dies in. Boom. Okay. Uh, we have a super magnet thief item. Uh, lots of words. Little magnet picture. I love the pixel art. Check out that pixel art. I can't get enough of the pixel art. The pixel art. The pixel art. That's enough out of me. Divining rod thief item. Ooh, divining rods are always fun. I always I like the divining item in Pokemon games when they have it. Uh, I use that religiously when I was younger and playing the Pokemon games, the original divining rod ones. Give a hero for every treasure type you have in your dungeon, inclu including your bosses. Ooh, nice. Let's see. Next item card is Angel Wings. Oh, cool. Cleric item. Give a hero plus X, where X is equal to the number of souls you have. Ooh. Then we have a Heart Container. Classic Legend of Zelda reference there. I believe probably lots of other games now that you think about it. But yeah, go ahead and read those. <clears throat> Next, we have our Shining Armor Cleric item. Take one spell from the discard pile, and this hero may not be targeted by spells. <clears throat> and we have a Lich Crown a cleric item. Uh, choose one face down hero. Do damage to another hero equal to the chosen hero's health. And go ahead and read that bottom part. Boom. Next, we have a Flame of Achoom. Achoom. Is that supposed to look like a Doctor Strange? I think it is, except he's got a flame cape instead of. The other way around. Until end of turn, your rooms with mage, mage treasure give uh, is that plus one to adjacent rooms. Let's see, next we have the crystal ball, another mage item. All players reveal one spell if they have one or more. Choose one revealed spell and put it into your hand. Boom. Next. Whoops. Portal Wand! Oh, portaling is always fun. Mage item. Uh, choose a hero in any dungeon. It skips the next room it would enter. That's really cool. Okay. <clears throat> next is Surprise Box. Oh, classic Mario reference. Question mark box. Uh, discard your hand and draw rooms and spells, each equal to the number of each you discarded. Nifty. Go ahead and read that bottom one. The bottom ones tend to uh, mirror or be something similar to the top ones for your monster or for your hero when your hero is using it. Uh, Tamer's Whip. 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 Uh, fighter item. Give one monster room in your dungeon damage until end of turn where X is equal to the number of monster rooms in your dungeon. There you go. 
Go ahead and read that. There's a little whip at the bottom there. Tamer's Whip. Let's see. Next we have our Energy Bow for a fighter. Oh, desire the entrance to another player's dungeon. That hero ignores the last three rooms of that dungeon. Wow. Let's see. We have uh, the Minotaur's Mantle. Oh my gosh, that looks like Mario wearing a Tanuki suit, except it's a Minotaur suit. That is adorable. Choose one room in your dungeon until end of turn. All heroes pass through that room twice. Interesting. Uh, when this hero is at the, the entrance to your dungeon, deactivate the first fighter room in your dungeon. Let's see. Next, we are almost done, fellas and ladies, whoever might be watching, I guess. Mega Hammer, another Mario reference, this time for uh, Donkey Kong, I believe. The original Donkey Kong, uh, one of the very first appearances of Mario, a Mega Hammer fighter item. Uh, give one hero plus two for every wound you have, and double this hero's health, in other words. Boom. Uh, first boss, first new boss of the uh, the pack is Umbra, Shadow of the Past. Level up. Look at the face-down items in your player's scorekeeping area. Choose one and place it face-up in your scorekeeping area. Next boss of five new bosses is... Lady Vix, Bandit Queen. Ooh. If you know what, a ref what references are to these and I didn't mention them, go ahead and uh, mention down below in the comments. Because uh, I don't, I haven't played as many games as I would have liked to, so I, a lot of these old school references might go over my head. Level up, take a face up item from a hero in town, another player, place it face up in your scorekeeping area. Next boss is Franz, Psycho Jester. Uh, level up for the rest of the game. Whenever you use an item's boss ability, draw a spell. That's also nifty. And second to last boss, we have Malakil, Master of Beasts. And I do believe that is the character featured on the front of the box. We have uh, Master of Master of Beasts, level up. Take one of your items, face up or face down, and place it under a monster room. That room has plus three until it is destroyed or covered. And our final new boss of the expansion is Banseer Biven, Acquirer of Artifacts. Level up. For the rest of the game, you may have two items face up in your scorekeeping area. That is a good card right there. You want to want to pull that one and use him as your boss so anyway that is it for the uh boss monster implements of destruction if i can get my camera to focus we have 24 new items and five new bosses to add to our uh our expand our current boss monster game i'm very excited about so anyway if you like this video please leave a comment down below feel free to comment like i said um, if you see that I didn't say what the references were, or I just plain didn't know, which is probably the case, feel free to comment down below. Tell me what they are, because I don't always get them. Like, uh, this guy in particular, he looks like he could be a, a Mortal Kombat reference, because Goro has four arms. Other than that, I'm not really sure. That looks a little bit like Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Again, I'm not sure if, uh, whatever that is. But anyway, uh, yeah, all that having been said, until next time, don't forget to be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands when you go out. Please be safe. Also, I forgot, don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Help me grow my channel. Uh, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, that'll be a, a really fun, um, uh, really fun level to get to. Uh, anyway, that's it. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye!